and the federal government's United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, and UN Women may be set for a collective effort towards the fight against corruption. At a high-level workshop entitled Gender Dimension of Anti-Corruption in Nigeria against the backdrop of 2021, 16-day of activism to end gender-based violence in Abuja, the Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, represented by the Special Advisor, Social Investment and Presidency, Office of Vice President Mrs. Mariam Owas, said corruption often hinders growth, rule of law, peace and security, particularly developmental programs aimed at tackling poverty and socio-economic vulnerabilities. The Vice President hinted that the administration has reeled measures to achieve targets, which include conduct of regular experience-based anti-corruption surveys, to appreciate the issues and the bid to avoid pitfalls and encourage the use of technologies and major projects such as oil and gas, transportation, power, health, education and other sectors. Meanwhile, findings from Gender and Corruption in Nigeria reports of December 2020 revealed that 41% of respondents were women and men perceived body currency in exchange of sexual favor. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.